Jab down. He tries to catch the punch in front. And like a lumberjack, timber. Is this the greatest moment of your life, Jake? It's got to be the greatest moment of my life. Look at what I just did. Look at the year I just had. What went wrong for him tonight? What the fuck you think, motherfucker? What the fuck you think, motherfucker? What the fuck you think, motherfucker? What went wrong for him? What went wrong with you? I said it's going to be war tomorrow night. It won't be a short fight. You're going to be in the war. And I said, people going to respect you after this, but you're going to be in the war. I'm going to try to fucking hurt you. I told him that to his face. And I said, God going to get glory tonight. Yeah. Uh, I said, rest up well, because it's going to be a fucking hard-ass fight. And I told him that. And it was. Um, I didn't know I was going to end up on the end of the stick of getting that ass knocked out. But... Fuck you, think, motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, fight fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Heads Up. Fine, fine, you already know what it is. Um, <laughs> well, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, on Saturday night, you know, um, the rematch of Jake Paul versus Tyron Willie took place. Uh, apparently, you know, bitch-ass Tommy Fury pulled out. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Tyron Willie stepped in. I didn't know I was going to end up on the end of the stick of getting that ass knocked out, but... For the second anticipated bout that you know the young casual boxing fans of the world will tune in to see. So shout out to the event. Um, I hope everything went well. <laughs> no disrespect to the spectacle at all. <laughs> but quite frankly, it was a boring fight for Brown one to five. Well, one to yeah, one to six, I believe. Kill me now. It was basically a boring fight. It was a damn fucking snooze. And like both of these guys like showed that they had no business being in the ring whatsoever. And then out of nowhere, oh, he needs some milk. Smack. Killer instinct. <laughs> you just see, to, all you see is Jake Paul freaking right hand hit Tyron Woodley in the head, and Tyron Woodley freaking head hitting the floor. I just like. <laughs> And then just to hear the way Tyron Willie was speaking to, to Jake, about Jake Paul after the fight. I said it's going to be war. I said it's going to be war tomorrow night. It won't be a short fight. You're going to be in the war. And I said people going to respect you after the yeah. You're going to be in the war. I'm going to try to fucking hurt you. I told him that to his face. And I said God going to get glory tonight. Like, you know, Jake Paul has, you know, unmeasurable power. <laughs> He's just God's gift to boxing now all of a sudden, you know. So shout out to the year, Jake Paul. And um, unfortunately, I feel bad for Mama Woodley to see her son go out like that because she was heated. <laughs> what the fuck you think, motherfucker? So where does a 40-year-old retired MMA fighter go next? Where it does a social media influencer <laughs> turned, you know, retired basketball assassin turned, you know, UFC freaking bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently Jake Paul knocking everybody in the UFC out. <laughs> Where does he go next? Apparently Nate Diaz and uh <laughs> Jorge Masvidal's on the menu, so we will have to see <laughs> on, next, on the next episode of The Adventures of Jake Paul in Boxing. <laughs> so as we always say at the end of this shit, <laughs> wake up, baby. <Bruh>. <laughs> what the fuck you think, motherfucker? It costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. Man, shout out to Mama Whitley, man. Uh, shout out to Tyron Whitley, and shout out to Jake Paul, man, for the uh, vicious right hand, man. And um, <laughs> it's impulsive season, I guess. Uh, respect to everybody who uh, showed up for the videos. Reaper Gang Radio. It's the motherfucking boss. Respect.